Understanding the phrase, Warlock's Curse, in English. Hello and welcome to our English language learning series. Today, we're diving into a fascinating and somewhat mystical phrase, Warlock's Curse. This phrase has roots in folklore and fantasy, and we'll explore its meaning, usage, and the intriguing context behind it. Whether you're an English learner or just love exploring unique expressions, this video is for you. The term, Warlock's Curse, is composed of two parts, Warlock, and Curse. A warlock is a term often used in fantasy and folklore to describe a male witch or a magician, usually one who practices dark or harmful magic. The word, curse, on the other hand, refers to a type of magic spell or enchantment that brings harm or misfortune to someone. So, a warlock's curse is essentially a harmful spell or magical infliction cast by a warlock. This phrase is often used in stories and myths to create a sense of mystery and danger. Warlock's curse is not commonly used in everyday conversation. It's more frequently found in literature, especially in fantasy or supernatural genres. Authors use this phrase to add a layer of mystical or ominous tone to their stories. It's also a great example of how English borrows from different cultures and mythologies to enrich its vocabulary. Understanding Warlock's Curse also involves delving into its cultural and historical context. The concept of warlocks and curses has been around for centuries in various cultures. In medieval times, people believed in the existence of witches and warlocks, and the idea of curses was taken very seriously. Today, these terms are more associated with entertainment and fiction, but they still carry the weight of their historical and cultural significance. We hope this exploration of the phrase, warlock's curse, has been enlightening and enjoyable. English is a language rich with expressions drawn from folklore and history, and phrases like this add color and depth to our conversations and stories. Keep learning and exploring, and you'll discover the beauty and complexity of the English language. Until next time, happy learning!